that's what they're doing. But a a capitalistic. <laughs> let, let me. I, 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 Let me, a, a, capitalistic, a capitalistic country that can't get capital fails. A capitalistic country that can't get capital fails. Are they doing the right thing by spreading this out? Remember now, we have freshmen, a freshman president. All these people are new. I mean, and, you know, Obama has done more in his first 90 days than any president ever. Will it be right? Who knows? But at least they're trying. At least they're getting it out there. But it's also the interplay of all these uh, uh, governments may help in the future because they're all cooperating with each other. And China, you know, China's buying most of our debt. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be eating a lot of different foods over here in a in a while. But again, it's stable. It's amazing that with what went on in the financial marketplace, that it's stable, everybody's making money. It's just amazing that we're at where we're at now with what went on because nobody thought that that was going to happen. Okay? Yeah. high-tech machines going on right now, and we're trying to get people back to work. Well, manufacturing's been the place to go work. It's so hard to build this country. You can always build a profit to what you made to hire people. I mean, yeah. that manufacturing, construction, and ag is what is the backbone of this country. Well, now we're saying we don't want labor. We want high-tech machines. We want new control. Get rid of the labor. So, and I'm just... I was wondering the other day, has anybody studied how many people go into manufacturing, headcount, now how many people do we need compared to output? And then if, and if GM goes bankrupt or if the automobile sector reshapes itself, and I'm sure you guys are talking to our colleagues about the disasters that's going on in there right now. So, bottom line, how does technology affect a recovery that we're trying to get into? From what I understand, manufacturing is down about 32 percent over the last three years. Okay, and uh, uh, but it's but manufacturing is picking up because all the simple two-axis jobs and all the simple things are going over to foreign countries, and all the multiple complex jobs are are staying over here. It, uh, uh, it's kind of an interesting statistic. Golf talk talking about labor. 42 percent of the people in the United States make less than ten dollars an hour. Isn't that interesting? And uh, then you ask, how does... Uh, uh, like all of us in this room, right? Yeah. <laughs> then, then, then you ask, how, how does... It, <laughs> so how do, politicians, how do politicians appeal to people? Hey, you got to appeal to the masses, you know? So, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. My job to join the ADA, but I'm not already a member. Also, ADA has, uh, if you haven't seen this, we do what they call webinars, and we have two coming up.